They've called me insane, but today they will be calling me the Messiah because I am bringing you proof, 100% undeniable facts, truth, evidence that will show you that the Space Wolves are going to be getting a refresh for Warmer 40,000 in 10th edition. This is is going to change everything. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was in Warhammer World this past weekend. Yes, I did meet in the toilet stall and got some shady envelopes. More on that in future videos. But I went into the exhibit hall and I found something very, very interesting. As you can see with the images in the background right now, I went around and I took pictures of some of the displays that I thought were fantastic. And what of those displays with the space wolves or should i say the lack of space wolves there was no space wolves in the space wolf cabinet or no primaris space wolves in the space wolf cabinet why is this a big thing valrak why is this evidence this doesn't prove anything wrong 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 okay this is a known track record for games workshop to do they take some of the biggest models outside of the cabinet and they take it to the photographer's studio why do they do that because new models they're bringing to the range get filmed with pictures and stuff like that and then they put it in all the white dwarf magazines the brand new space wolf codex everything like that for people who are gonna call me insane mad i've lost my my mind they've done this before gw have got a track record they did the exact same thing with the dark angels they took most of the dark angels stuff out like the repulsors and everything like that and lo and behold what did we get a few months later or should i say like six to like 12 months later we got brand new dark angels games workshop works in advance years months days minutes hours whatever you want to say they work in advance this my friends is the build-up the glorious build-up to the return of lehman russ i'm saying it the wolf king is coming full moon brothers full moon your heart out remember brothers what happened in ninth edition with the whispers of the warp when that edition was coming to an end the foil prophesied from the whispers of the warp that we were going to be getting free big chapter releases it was going to be the dark angels it was going to be the blood angels and it was going to be the space wolves in 10th edition i didn't believe it but the foil has changed my mind with the stuff that we've been seeing we've had part one of the dark angel refresh already with the deathwing new belial etc etc new deathwing knights this summer apparently at the end of summer after the agents of the imperium codex drops after the bloody fourth edition of of Age of Sigma drops, we're supposed to be getting that grand big Blood Angel launch. And that's supposed to have like new Astaroth, Limartis, Sanguinary Guard is in there. Apparently the Sanguinor, Kaka, Kaka is in there, right? He's going to be floating around, flying around, bringing his goldenness to the battlefield. That's two out of three. That means there's only one chapter left a part of those whispers of the warp and i personally think now it is going to be space wolves i see games workshop doing it just like they've done other things because we've still got one more traitor primark to come as well and what did they do last edition right ninth edition they released angron with the world eaters towards the end of the edition and then boom 
out of nowhere, from the forest, walks Lion L. Johnson. I think they're going to repeat the exact same scenario. We're going to get Snake Boy Sliver onto the battlefield. Then after that, the king himself, the king of Fenris, howling to the crowd. He's coming back, brothers. Prepare yourself. That's enough insane waffling by me. The foil is embedded into my brain now, brothers. I can't separate reality from the foil. It's all the same. It's all blended into one. Help me, brothers. Please send help.